Number one is you don't listen because you never let me speak. When I talk to you, you give me attitudes. That's called being a conversation, not being rude. It's like when I tell you something, it's either you're gonna grunt your face like that or you're gonna mumble under your breath. And I am sick and tired of talking about that. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Welcome back to Gracie's World. And as you can see, I'm back again after my exams, which I've now done and they went well so far. Now I'm back to do videos with my mum. Yay! Yes, guys. And we've got Alvin yep. back in the, the building. House. Yes, guys. Welcome back. Thank you. How does it feel to be back? Great, I guess. It's just that. I guess he said yeah. they've been asking of you and oh. they've always wanted to see you. And yes, just as he said, his exams are finished and he is back. Yes, guys. For good, yeah? Yeah. For, for good. Now. So welcome, welcome back to Gracie's World. If you're new to the channel, I am Gracie. And I'm Alvin. And you are welcome to our world. And what are we eating today? Today, guys, I made the stew, by the way. We have chicken stew, three chicken for me, three chicken for my mum, and white basmati rice. Where we'll drink it down with sparkling water. And as you know, what's the slogan? Water is life. You don't know the slogan? No. He doesn't know the slogan. So welcome back. And on this note, we are going to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for this food. Amen. Father, we ask that as we eat this food, may it nourish our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for our subscribers. We pray for our viewers that you will bless them. Amen. And we pray for our subscriber in America, for her grandson, Father, that you permanent the healing. In Jesus' mighty name, we have Amen. prayed. Amen. 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 So, guys, let's get, get eaten. eaten. And yes, as Alvin said, he did make the stew, but with my supervision. Not really, guys. Excuse me? So let's see how it tastes. I haven't tasted it. And I'm just hoping it's going to be absolutely delicious. So come and eat with us. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know what, this stew is good. Mm -hmm. It's got the right amount of spice, the flavor, it's top notch. There you go guys. Oh my god, mm. so it didn't give you the first bite. How could I forget? Even I remember that I haven't been here for that long. I know. I'm getting carried away because you're here now. First bite is for you. Hmm. This is absolutely yummy. Hmm. You're enjoying it. You would say that because you cooked it. Mm -hmm. So chicken and rice for you guys. Mm. By the way, this is hard chicken. This is not the soft one. And we cooked it in the we. Oui. <laughs> I did supervise you, didn't I? Mm -hmm. We cooked it in the pressure cooker. Now he's trying to take the credit. Because I did do it. Oh dear. No, I just was thinking. There was something I was going to tell you. But. What was that? I 
was going to tell you after the video, but I'm just thinking I should tell you now. Yeah. There's no point anyway. Still here with our family, so it's no, good. It's good they me. know. That's what I'm saying. It's good they know. So it's a good thing I'm just going to tell you now. I have been thinking. Yeah. That I'm going to give you out for adoption. Sorry, that's really funny. And I see how she's pranking. I literally just showed back and now she's already pranking me. This is not a prank. This is. Yeah. I'm real serious. Uh, really, really serious. Okay. Because there's so many reasons why I think if I give you out for adoption, I will have more inner peace with myself. Huh. That's such a funny joke. I'm not joking. There's so many reasons. And I think my reasons are cogent. Like what? Number one is you don't listen. Because you never let me speak. When I talk to you, you give me attitudes. That's called being a conversation, not being rude. It's like when I tell you something, it's either you're gonna grunt your face like that or you're gonna mumble under your breath. And I am sick and tired of talking about that. <laughs> it's funny, you act as if you weren't a teenager before. And also, I tell you things to do, you don't do them. But I do. I come back, and they're still the same way that I left it. I tell you to do something like three or four times, and you still sit there on your phone with your Bluetooth or what's it called, your ear thing in your ear, your ear pod in your ear. And I have to like scream after like four or five times before you even make an attempt That's and true. I am sick and tired of doing this so I think the best Boy, you option tired when you decide to give birth to me hmm. well ah. <laughs> guys do you see that <laughs> no so I think no. the best option is giving you out for adoption because there maybe you will learn if you don't learn, maybe your adopted mother will accept you that way and allow you not to do anything. Mm. And then you can get spoiled rotten. Guys, this is honestly so hilarious to me. It may seem hilarious to you, but I am damn serious. Yeah. That's what you always say. Oh, you're serious. Oh, I'm serious. And then you look like, hurry out, so. Just an empty promise, really. Can you see that? Okay. I personally think that it's really funny. Yeah. 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 Guys, I don't know what she's on about. Just ignore her. This is part of it. Ignoring the mother. Hmm. Sad. So you don't believe me? No. Okay. Wait until tomorrow. When your adopted mother comes. What are you going to say then? Goodbye. Goodbye to me, yeah? No. Okay. You didn't let me finish. See guys, exactly my point. Now she tried to act all innocent when she does the exact stuff I did. They even let me finish up to conclusions. Your mother jumps to conclusions. You see what I'm saying? See the way he speaks to me?
But whether you like it or not, you're going for adoption. <laughs> I personally will pack your things. This park is too funny, guys. Honestly, you can see me laughing. <laughs> it's so funny. So you think I'm joking? Mm-hmm. It's so sad that you don't take me serious when I'm serious. Mm. It's so sad that you think you know me that well that you feel I'm joking. Mm. But it won't be that sad when she comes tomorrow. Mm. If you say so. I am literally tired. Why do you keep on repeating it? Because I am. Don't listen when I talk. I'm the one personally doing every single thing. When I ask you to do things, you don't do it. I talk to you, you grumble. I am tired, literally. I have had it up to here. And I can't take it anymore. Okay, leave. No, I should leave. Mm -hmm. No, you will be the one leaving. I'm not getting adopted. <laughs> you will be the one leaving. Because this is my house. Yeah, see? It's not me. Controlling, guys, as you can see. not even in any way apologetic as you can see what should i be apologetic for I rather than he's giving me the lip again cutting me off why should i be apologetic when i've done nothing wrong hmm? it's literally natural for a teenager to be like this but you are now making it seem as if it's some rule that's been broken when i do that it's literally Natural, he says. It's funny because well, you act as if you're not a teen you weren't a teenager before, and you literally do the exact stuff I do. Oh, are you my father now? <laughs> that you knew exactly what I did? Okay. After this video, let's call Grandpa and see. Hmm? You can call him. And find out. I was perfect. <laughs> Take it anymore. All right, leave. And he tells me to leave mm -hmm. our own house. I thought you said it was my house. So, where not, did our come from? Not our. Our as in you. Our as in me and your dad. And does dad know about this? About what? You wanted to put me up for adoption? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So how do you feel about it now? Um, okay. <laughs> that's what, that's your loss, sorry. It's not my loss in any way. Yeah, when you have literally no one to talk to. I've got your dad. Yeah, and dad has work. I'll be at work as well. Okay. Then you won't be talking through your work hours now, will you? So, <coughs> sorry guys, the atmosphere is just becoming very, very disgusting. Yeah. So I just began to cough. Sorry. <coughs> atmosphere is becoming very tense, as you can see. Hmm. You should be apologetic. You for should what? be saying, for Mommy, I'm for very what? sorry for, what? for my behavior. For what? If I've offended you in any way, <clears throat> I will try to make adjustments. Mommy, please don't give me up for adoption. I love my home and I love my family. Why should I apologize? I did nothing wrong. But all I'm getting is the big lip. And as they say, if you got big teeth, make sure you got big lips to be able to cover those big teeth. See guys, now she said I have big teeth. 
And then I'm the horrible one. Mm -hmm. Makes so much sense. So he's not apologetic. Mm. He's not apologetic. Okay, guys. As you can see, that there is no change in the attitude. So I think definitely we will go ahead with the adoption. See, right there, prank. Told you guys. The way you said we will go exactly. I thought you said she was coming tomorrow. So what do you mean we will exactly? That yeah. means you were re you were reassuring yourself. No, mm. she is coming tomorrow. But mm. well, if you were maybe apologetic, we could call it off. But you're not. That's not how it works. You are not. For the last time, are you apologetic or not? About your behaviors. What did I do? apologetic we can sort this out we can put a stop to it and you can stay and change your ways but if you're not going to be apologetic but what did I do? I have stated the facts of the things that you do it's like going into his room right now that room is total chaos I have spoken about it times without number does it get done? No. It's like when I tell him to tidy up his room. It's like you're talking to the brick wall. I said it. Times without number. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And the whole time, he's got this earpod, like I said before, in his ear. Telling you, yes, I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. And it never gets done. I have had it up to here. So Alvin, you have a choice to make right now, in front of our family. Are you going to apologize and change your ways, or are you going to carry on and we'll carry on with the adoption? Hmm. Hmm. Here we are, so he's not going to say anything. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. We'll carry on with the adoption. Yeah, that you want me to carry on with the adoption? No. So what then? What's it going to be? Yeah. I will apologize. I'm sorry, Mom, for everything I've done. I'm sorry for ever being horrible and disrespectful. Really? Yeah. I can't believe you're saying that. It was a prank. I know, yeah. It doesn't really work like that, huh? Yeah, I knew it was a prank, guys. Yeah, see, thank you. It was a prank. Did you really think I'd give you up for adoption? No. May... no. Maybe. Mm -mm. No, I already knew it. I saw it from the beginning, guys. The whole presentation, everything. I analyzed it, made notes in my head, wrote down scripts and everything, guys. And I knew it. She was not, just really didn't work for you now, huh? Yes, it did. Mm -mm. Yes, it did. How? It did. How? Because you really thought in your mind that I was going to give you up. Not really. Because, one, I'm literally 17 now. So... Yeah, you can still be adopted. Mm-hmm. But wait, you're 17. wait, wait, wait. This is what I'm saying. <coughs> Here we go again. It makes no sense that you give me up when I'm 17. Because for 17 years you've literally had me, so why change now? Because I'm tired, that's what I said. Why weren't you tired when you gave birth to me? Because like, then you were behaving. I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were behaving at that time. <coughs> Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. You won't regret it. Please remember to like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell, guys, for you to continue watching our videos, guys. Well, do you have anything to say? Yes. Guys, it was just a prank, just to see how he was going to react. 
when I told him I was going to give him up for adoption. But as you could see, he still thought I was joking. He didn't believe me. He never took me serious. Alvin is such a wonderful, amazing, humble, obedient child. I'm not saying that he hasn't got his flaws as a teenager. Sure. That now, he is. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> you don't need to be saying that. No, I have to say that. You're not perfect. Uh, okay. Are you perfect? No. No. So I have to say that. Oh, okay. So as I was saying, he has got his flaws like every other teenager, but they are flaws that can be corrected. He says, yes, guys. So as we, pardon me, they are flaws that can be corrected. Yes, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You will be seeing more of Alvin in our videos from now on. Are we? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. That doesn't look like a promising yes. Yeah. Is that a promising yes or just a... Well, I have other things to do though. So... <laughs> so... Like, at that age to get a job now, so... But you're not going to sleep at the job. Yeah, I will. Like I said, you will be seeing more of Alvin in the videos. Chef Daddy took a break today, and Alvin decided to grace the channel. So welcome back, and thank you for being here to entertain our viewers and our family who have always been asking after you. Yes, guys, you're welcome. So see you. In our next video. Bye bye. Oh, come in. You have to be looking at up in your long. See how your oblong head is so for the wow. side. See how, like this. <laughs> you be like egg for the back, like that. <laughs> like duck and don't do like this. It's because of what I'm saying. Yeah, but yeah. you need to go down a bit. No, like you know, when you turn the head like this, you be like egg. Leave it like that. I will show you after. Oh, Do it like that first. Then turn it now. No, you have to look to the left. I now we we'll cut the picture now.